when you're dealing with, with batteries for space, uh, and in particular batteries that are associated with crude applications, there are very stringent safety requirements. So if you think about thermal runaway, so think of car fires you've seen in the 10 o'clock news, think of e-bike fires, scooter fires, we can't allow that to happen in space, in particular with a crew rated application. Why? Our crew, our astronauts cannot go anywhere. So what you see in space, and also in defense, where you're dealing in high cost, high risk missions, is very heavy requirement sets and safety standards when it comes to the utilization of lithium ion battery technology. For NASA and for crewed space applications, that is Johnson Space Center or JSC 20793 Revision D. There are a lot of stringent safety requirements that go into that, but the one that is a bit of the, the crux of it is for any battery that's above 80 watt hours using lithium ion chemistry, you have to be a PPR design with a flame arrestor. What that means is only one cell can go into thermal runaway during your abuse testing, and then after that cell goes into thermal runaway, it can just be gases exiting the battery pack. It can't be any flame or effluence or you, you fail the test.